Okay, boys, I've got my breakout box uh, in my car here, and uh, I've got myself a new toy. It's a wee portable hand tech scope, uh, the 2C42. It's the uh, cheapest one available. Um, doesn't have any automotive presets, uh, no arbitrary waveform generator, although you can see the button there. Um, as you can see, is there's not one installed, although there is still a basic test uh, function available at the uh, BNC which would be the arbitrary waveform generator output uh, there is a fixed test signal that it does give you so it does still have some utility in that regard uh, i've just got it hooked up to uh just a wee uh i don't know you can't really see a voice um anyway it's on a basically a little suction cup uh cell phone holder type thing that you can get at the dollar store or planet pound or whatever you call it in britain um because it's really actually really handy. It keeps things uh, up out of the way while you're trying to film or while, you, while you're trying to do some testing and there's no rattling around in your seats or in your lap or something. It's actually quite practical. I'm, I'm kind of happy I came across that just by fluke. Uh, so again, the Handtech uh, 2 Charlie 42. Uh, it's the narrowest to bandwidths. Uh, it's only two channel as you can see, but that's actually why I bought it is I got a wee bit fed up of uh, pulling out my laptop and uh and the uh, scope um you know dragging all the uh, the interface cable out is obviously bad enough and you know two additional units and yeah this is just kind of quick and nasty and portable right but this is actually considerably faster than the, my original hand tech scope um i've got it set up just for the quick and easy uh can bus check here boys um because it is quick and easy uh, full disclosure, but because it's one of the fastest signals in the vehicle, it'll give you a good idea of the scope's actual capability. So I'll just turn the ignition switch actually on. And uh, there you can see uh, the can high and can low. You can see the uh, the voltage I actually have set. It's just uh, one volt per division. Uh, the graticule uh, scaling is quite different actually on this little portable. Uh, as a we uh, as a rather small screen to be quite honest uh, the unit itself is actually a wee bit smaller than i thought it's just a wee bit bigger than a just a wee bit oversized for a, a just a regular handheld meter but uh let me just stop that uh yeah the screen itself is a wee bit smaller to the than is really practical um I'll, I'll jump cut to a shot of it during daylight conditions it's brutal. Let me just do the jump cut. Yeah, so if you plan on using this outside, uh, you better be in low light conditions, I can tell you, because in bright sunlight, it's, that's just in the meter mode, and the scope is even worse. It's, uh, it's useless in the sunlight, to be honest. So there you go, you get an idea what it looks like during the day it is horrendous and yes it was on the full bright setting and to be fair it was in direct sunlight in the in the, in the shot there. Um, yeah so uh, the navigation buttons are they're a wee bit tricky to actually use. Um, uh, let me see if I can scroll through this here boys. Uh, there is facility actually do the measure function. Uh, on as you can see it'll take the measurements there. Hopefully I can get that in shot There's the can in the high low so you can see the min max uh, On both channels and of course the frequency there, right and uh, Facility start stop is it's quite easy to use in some regards and uh, and and brutal in others um, Yeah, but I guess that's just a matter of getting used to it. So again, it is the, uh, just the 2C42 boys, as I said, two reasons why I bought it, or maybe I didn't say. Um, first reason is I'm cheap, and the second reason I went with the cheap model is uh, I'm, I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, as simple as that. I didn't want to pay for the presets because you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out the voltage and frequency settings for stuff once you're kind of used to it, boys. And um, and all the presets that come in the automotive version of the the higher cost um, version of this unit are actually available on the free hand tech software anyway for all the original um, uh, PC based scopes. Uh, it's all the same settings as far as I can tell. So uh, yeah, I have access to those already. So uh, yeah, so that's just a quick look at it, boys. Uh, two fellas. Um, uh, 
um, on YouTube that uh, I highly respect. Uh, both have one. So I'm trying to be as cool as they are. I'll, I'll never make it, but I'm trying. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm so far so good. I'm pretty happy with it. I, it's a disappointment in daylight conditions, but the rest of it is uh, so far so good. And uh, I'm still struggling a wee bit with the navigation of the buttons, but I guess that'll come in time. So I'll just keep this brief, boys. That's it. Cheers.